Religious people are sometimes adamant that atheists have no meaning or purpose in their lives. Sometimes I even encounter atheists who try to embrace this notion. They say things like, hooray, let's be happy and do whatever we want because there's no meaning or purpose. But let's think about that for just a minute. It doesn't really make sense. That's a lot like saying there is no opinion or there are no priorities. Who has no opinion? Who has no priorities? Conceptual things don't just float around in space. Concepts exist within minds, and there is more than just one mind on this planet. So maybe you have no opinions or priorities or purpose or meaning, but that doesn't really tell you much about what's in my mind. Sometimes people who identify with nihilism say, that's not really what nihilism implies. It doesn't say that there is no meaning. It only says that there's no inherent meaning. Well, then I actually agree, but there's another term for that. That's called existentialism. According to both Wikipedia and the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, nihilism suggests that creating our own meaning is futile, and that's a very destructive attitude. The reason nihilists conclude that life has no meaning is because they embrace a fallacy that I think religious people have largely pushed upon them. They are searching for objective meaning, and they're finding that there is none. But of course there's no objective meaning. What a silly idea. Until neuroscientists figure out how to measure everything that happens inside of a physical brain, concepts remain fundamentally personal. And that will continue to be the case for a very long time. Physics is still the only medium we have for interacting with each other and agreeing on things. And losslessly representing concepts with objective physics, that's pretty darn hard. Because nihilists are searching for something objective, they keep looking for someone to give them purpose, and they find that no one does that. My father wanted me to be an airline pilot. My mother wanted me to be a concert pianist. So which was my career? Neither. I taught artificial intelligence at a university. My parents may have tried to push a career on me, but I didn't actually have one until I chose it for myself. Purpose is a lot like that. It cannot be given. It must be chosen. So of course searching for objective purpose is futile. Opinions exist only in minds. But that certainly doesn't mean that there are no opinions, and it absolutely doesn't mean that trying to have an opinion is somehow futile. Existentialism says that existence precedes essence. In other words, you first need physics to have a brain, and you first need a brain, or at least some kind of information processing machine, to create a mind. There is no software without hardware. Because concepts like opinions, priorities, purpose, meaning, and morality can only exist in minds, existence must precede essence. Physics is first. Only then can our brains use physics to encode concepts. So you don't have to share my purpose in life, but please stop implying that I don't have one. The whole philosophy of nihilism is built on confusing the subjective with the objective but existentialists understand that there is a difference between subjective and objective things. They understand that it's okay to create our own meaning. So don't be a nihilist. Existentialists see the universe more clearly.